Hello again, Ben Pittman here. This is lesson number three, training session number one, the sponsoring process. And this is just kind of an overview of where you are at this point and what your next objective is. First of all, you've, got, you've, you've built a name list. It has some suspects. Then you've turned that, those suspects into some prospects. And now you're ready to do the business presentation and figure out exactly how you're going to strategize who's going to help you with the business presentation. And I highly recommend that you use your training director or your upline or your regional manager to get started. I think too many people make the mistake of trying to do these first presentations on their own. They, they see a couple of them or they watch a couple of them. And the most effective presentation you can do to get started is a two-on-one. The two-on-one consists of you and your training director or even if you let your regional manager just do it for you. Uh, the main thing is to take massive action. You've got to take massive action in order to reach regional manager in 30 days. So however you do it, go ahead and go for it. Now, one of the key elements to this is to strategize. You've got that name list, and on that name list, you've probably, you go down through that name list, and you, you figure out the people that you think would be the most interested, and you figure out the people you think would not be so interested right now, You've got long distance relationships or uh, uh, people in, in long distance places and you've got friends, relatives and neighbors that require a little bit of a special attention because they're the ones who are going to be the most dubious of what you're doing in the first place. So the idea is to use your regional manager and strategize exactly how you're going to approach each one of these people. Sometimes, um, and, and, we re and I really recommend, you don't go after your long distance referrals uh, or your long distance people during this first regional manager quest, wait till after your regional manager to go after those long distance people if you can. Now it's okay if you want to and if there's a good meeting going on and good training in the area, get your regional manager to call that person in that area that's doing the training and having the meetings and ask them if they'll help you with a person in, let's say you have somebody in Omaha and you want to sponsor someone in Omaha, well you call out to Omaha or you look on the National Register and see if there's a, somebody in Omaha that can help you with that. And if there is, good, go for it if you want to. If there's not, stay, stay local for this first 12 group. You're getting, getting promoted to regional manager uh, is a special time in your career here, so you want to stay really tightly focused and don't get outside the area too much. Then, once you start to figure out who you're going to talk to, and once again we call that the low-hanging fruit, then you start to figure out who's going to talk to that person and how. Now, it doesn't really matter which presentation method you use, kind of follow the leader. Let your regional manager, if they're more comfortable using, let's say, this method right here, which is just a one-page little sit-down with a felt-tip pen and explain the business and hand it back over to them, if they're comfortable with that, I personally like that a lot. Uh, other people want to use a DVD to start out with, and this is a great way to get started, but you must watch the DVD with your prospect. Watch the DVD with your prospect. That's how you win with DVDs. It's not to just go ahead and hand them out and say, here, have yourself a ball. So the presentation process is take your names, work your names down into the best uh, leads you possibly can, then figure out who's going to present, when you're going to present, and make the appointment. Now, we're going to talk about how to make the appointment and don't muddy the water here in a, in a few minutes, and also in scripting, which is also part of lesson three. But the main idea here is to get your sponsoring process strategized so that you can make the most of all of these first people that you bring in. I think that's the, the, the all I want to say about the sponsoring process just to let you know that there is you know there is method to the madness and you need to sit down and and really work this out not just one time but stay in constant contact with your uh, regional manager or your upline who's helping you and let them help you sponsor the first five six seven eight nine people until you get real comfortable and until you get some success because after all if they're going to help you why not use it that's the whole way this, this business works is to, is to get help from other people and then learn how to do the very same thing for your people down the line. Even if you've been in sales before, even if you've been in network marketing before, get help from your upline to uh, make the most of this. Thanks, and we'll see you on lesson number three, training session number two.